Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, it's good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into the women's fight. I got a lot of requests for this, so I do want to get into this. Sinisa Estrada versus Yokosita Valle. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Yokosita Valle? What have you. Um... I was really unimpressed with her, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every single fight. So you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of box. I don't gamble, but if you guys do, we use DraftKings. I, um, also, join the Patreon. The Patreon gives you the, the lock of the week. We're going to try to do two locks of the week this week. Uh, one's uh, a weekday card. A weekday lock that's going to contain the Wednesday and Friday fights, although I haven't gotten the odds for the Wednesday fights yet on DraftKings. And as well, we're going to do one on Saturday as well. So there's going to be two locks this week uh, to help y'all make money. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie, all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, this is just going to be one of those fights. Uh, Estrada 5'2", 63-inch reach, uh, really good speed, good combination puncher. Defensively, I don't love her. She leaves herself open. She can be timed. She can be countered. Uh, she stays behind a tight guard but has some bad habits. Like, most of the time defensively, she's okay, but she gets really, really bad habits. She gets really, really, really sloppy. I think she's at her best in the mid-range. I really do. When she's in the mid-range, going first, leading, jab, jab, right hand, she can switch southpaw. I, she's, her, her speed is just too much. She's a really good combination puncher, and she throws the shots clean and crisp and she and long. I mean, I, I didn't have the – but she keeps you there, and she pulls on the shots. Good counter puncher. Like I said, she can, she can switch southpaw. There's a lot that she can do. Mixes up her punch as well. The left hook, I think, is her best shot. Uh, in the conventional sense, which she fights mostly out of, I, I think that's her best shot. Good volume puncher. She can win rounds with her speed and her volume. She can use her skills for the mid-range. She's also pretty skilled on the inside law. That's not where I would want her in this fight. Fights well going back, which is really multi-dimensional. There's not much she can't do. She's got solid head movement. You know, she gets a little stationary at times. She stands in front of you too much, but she does move her head, so she's not easy prey. That's my biggest problem with her, is she stands in front of you too much. She should be using the ring at all times. You know, moving laterally, maintaining distance, leading, going first, jab, jab, right hand, or left hook. There's, there's a lot that she can do. She's really skilled. The odds on this, I think, are... Closer than they should be. We're going to get into that in, in just a second. Valle is long with a good jab. She's slow. She gets wild. I don't really see it. And I, I understand she's a unified champ. Like I said, she's wild. She's sort of slow. She's not a bad fighter. She's rough and tough and strong. And she can bang on the inside, which is why I don't really want. She looks physically bigger and physically stronger than Estrada, who seems really, really little. I don't want Estrada on the inside. I want Estrada at that distance and, and moving. Uh, you know, the one chance Valle has is if she can get Estrada to sit in and trade with her. I, I would advise her not to do that. I think the speed is going to be the factor. I think Estrada is just going to be too fast for her. She's going to time her. may take a round or two. She gets sloppy, too. She comes in face forward. She's not, neither, neither one of these fighters are picture perfect defensively. She stands and trades. It's what she wants. She wants to push you backwards. She wants to make you go backwards. She wants to impose herself, and she's strong. And she's got a good jab, and she can close the distance, and she can use it, you know, and she can use the jab to keep you where she wants you. I think she's going to be too slow for Estrada. I think Estrada's too skilled. Estrada's going to mix it up. Estrada's going to nail it with the left hand and eventually break it down. I, I do see some gas tank issues with Valle. She gets sloppy when she gets tired, and if she gets sloppy – with Estrada, I don't, I'm not saying this that Estrada is going to stop her, but Estrada is really going to punish her and, and break her down. 
Um, I like Estrada in this fight, obviously. I watched Valle. I watched about three, four fights of her. I'm really not feeling it. I, I don't think this fight is competitive. I, I think the odds, you guys, are going to like these odds. Let me get these pulled up. She's minus 185, which I, I think is too close. One times bet is going to make it 5405. Keep an eye on this for the lock of the week. Uh, this this is these are not bad odds. Minus 185, I think a fight that's clear cut. Now Estrada has faded a little bit. She didn't look as great in her last fight, but she's fought good competition and she's won. She doesn't have to win 10 nothing this fight. She just has to win, and I think she definitely wins. I'm really not impressed by by Valle. I think she's flawed. I think she's sloppy. I think she comes in face first. I think she's strong with a good jab. I, I, I just don't think that's going to be enough. So I got Estrada winning this fight on points. I think she wins clearly. I think, you know, Valle may, may have a round or two where she looks good, but ultimately, uh, you know, it's Estrada. Estrada's the, the elite. Valle is going to be a step below. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. This is not this is not bad. You know, it's going to make you uh, – uh, 100 all bets going to make you 50, 54 bucks. I think I'm, I'm pretty easy money. Lock it in. Take the profits. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. $5 a month. Gets you the lock of the week. Right? It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you a uh, free t-shirt. It gets you asked to book you anything. Ask me to handicap any fight. Break it down for you. I will show you how to make money at any fight. There's always a bull market somewhere. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month. It makes you way more than that. You can you can ask the people in it. We're making money hand over fist. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow boxing. What get all forms of social media? Three D boxing, three D boxing blog. Also. Uh, follow by the channel texasboxingsteam.com. I'm sorry, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 25th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.